Think of it sixes and sevens with that one for a moment. As Borough looks to break again. Stop there, has some space, but it's into Nemeth. Nemeth's got past his man. Zerad Nemeth, oh, great save, and Christie has opened the scoring for Middlesbrough. Well, credit to Zerad Nemeth, who did spectacularly well, but it's Malcolm Christie who's got the goal. It's Christie's fourth goal for Middlesbrough since signing from Derby County. And really, we talked about a spot. That's the breakthrough. That's just what we needed. I mean, we've had a let-off. We've had two let-offs there, and that's typical Tottenham, that. We've had a good spell in the game, we've not made it fair, and now we should go on and go on because that's just what we needed. Well, well done to Lad Nemeth there, it has to be said, doesn't it? It does, but you've got to say the ball through to him. I think it was it Wilshire who's put the ball, it's a great ball, but that's great play that. He'd be disappointed not to score there, but fair play. Christie coming in, what a goal, what a goal, what a finish. Well, Wiltshire and Nemeth were two of the changes Steve McLaren made for this game and well, those changes have paid off immediately, haven't they? Definitely, absolutely brilliant. Now it's gone down, surely that's a penalty kick. Well, Perry it is, is having an absolute nightmare at the moment. He slipped for the previous goal. Now he's brought Nemeth down through, clean on goal. And this could be a red card, Jamie. Yeah, I mean, I, I hate to see it, and I hate to see people get red cards for that, because he's... he's yes, it, it is, I mean, he's the last defender. Uh, the, you know, there's no arguments under the, the current rules, but it's still disappointing because, you know, he, he's made a challenge, although being clumsy, um, it's disappointing to see players get a red card for that. Well, here we see it again. Nemeth is the final man, isn't it? He's the final defender. Well, uh, I think he's a, a very unfortunate man there. I mean, you know, just watching that again, as Nemeth goes through... Looks outside the box to me. Yeah, yeah it, it, uh, he has made contact, but I mean, it's it's difficult, but hey, we'll take that all day long. Well, it's a penalty kick. Juninho to take. Oh, Keller saved it, but it's got him now. <laughs> hey! Well, how unlucky for Casey Keller. He made the save. The ball stayed on the line. Well, was that Brazilian arrogance or what? This is Juninho again. Junior's gone inside ahead of Punchevcevic. He's had a shot. Oh, it nearly slipped in underneath Keller. Wiltshire with a shot. Now Nemeth. Oh, that's another one. Well, it's three in 27 minutes for Middlesbrough. Selah Nemeth has justified his inclusion in the sides. He's run straight over to the bench. It's now seven goals in 19 starts. That's, I mean, that is unbelievable. You just look there now, you look at the Tottenham players and they're demoralised. That is unbelievable. They have completely, completely just folded. I mean, it's unbelievable to see a professional team just fold in such a way. Well, Zillard Nemeth, there had been some press stories about him in the week from when he was away on international duty saying he wanted to start more. He's certainly done the right thing today. Had a magnificent hand in the first. King struggling to control that one. Nemeth it is that's going to play Macaroni in flag and stay down. Macaroni! Oh, it's number four for Middlesbrough. And Massimo Macaroni's only been on the pitch five minutes. And he scored his eighth goal of the season. He's leading goal scorer for Borough. Well, we have started the second half much lower. We ended the first, Jamie. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Again, shot them all. Back, taking chances, very sloppy defending, but fair play, never fair, he's, you know, he's won the ball and he's himself, he's put Macaroni in, what a great finish, I mean, that's superb for Macaroni. Well, if Steve McLaren and the chairman and the chief executive wanted a nice way to send their fans off to the summer, this has certainly been the afternoon for it, hasn't Absolutely it? brilliant, I mean, you talk about wanting a convincing performance at home, this has been brilliant. This will be one that Lifts the fans, Massimo Macaroni there, linking up well with Zilard Nemeth. Credit again to the Slovakian, and an excellent finish by the Italian. It's a Tottenham free kick, nonetheless, chance for them maybe to restore a certain amount of parity back into the score, store, the score line. King leaves it, comes in, and it's in the top corner. And it's a fantastic goal in the end. Jamie Redknapp has scored the goal that's put Tottenham back at 4-1. Again, you'll see on Borough TV Extra on Monday night at 6.15, of course. If 
they are to stay in the Premiership next season. So it should be another cracker next week. This is Janino again. Ball through to Macaroni. Macaroni has made it five. Flag has stayed down. There was a couple of anxious looks to the linesman, but it's 5-1. <laughs> Moonwalking macaroni as well there. Yeah, I mean, it's 5-1, and where's it going to end? Is it 6? Is it 7? Is it 8? Tottenham are absolutely shocking. Well, Massimo Macaroni's ninth goal this season for Middlesbrough. I mean, that's not certainly away for Middlesbrough because the football Middlesbrough played and, the, you know, the quality of the, the movement and the position and the finishing has been superb. Massimo Macaroni has scored his second. It'd be great for the Italians to get a hat trick here this evening, this afternoon. And I think while you're seeing the replays of Massimo Macaroni, Steve McLaren's lining up a substitution. I think young Stuart Downing could be getting a bit of a run out in this one. Great, well taken goal by Massimo. So bad for Tottenham. I'm sure you were. He just lashed out, I think. Yeah, I'm sure the Nunez ball into Macaroni again. Macaroni's toe poked it just past the post. But I thought the Italian was on for his hat trick. There's just a minute to be played at the end of this game, a minute of stoppage time. How close was this, Jamie? Great run, great ball, and he's just poked it there, but uh, just the wrong side of the goal. But again, you've got to say, Tottenham, I've never seen such a poor Premiership outfit.